The postman's just been, and it's time for more car parts. <laughs> Alright then guys, so my car parts come, I've obviously took my address out for the obvious reasons, um, yeah I presume this is my uh, interior lighting so what I'm going to do is get it open and let's have a look inside guys. So little remote that comes with it which will power it from the control box. Uh, via the IR sensor, the infrared sensor. Um, but what I'm going to do is going to hold, hide this control box in the car, and then just probably drill a little hole, or if I've got a vacant space in the dashboard where I can just wedge and hide this. So the control box isn't really on show. Uh, on our switch on a USB cigarette lighter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewire it so it powers directly up the ignition when the car starts as opposed to using this which I think will be it'd be more convenient but it will be a lot more untidy I reckon I prefer to have it hardwired to be honest so you've got your four lighting bars which are all pre-wired into the control box so you've got your passenger side footwell seat same with the driver's side footwell seat and you know the lighting kit will glow to all the different colors blue red all that and it will all sorry upside down and it can also flash and strobe to the music it can do various flashes strobes and lights um, i'm more after a continuous blue but hey why don't we go downstairs fit it into the car and then we'll we'll take it from there and see how it looks i'll see you in a moment in the car guys Alright guys, let's get this glove box out then. So, open it up, you'll see four screws each side. I'm going to use a power assisted drill. Um, sorry, screwdriver. Little battery one I got off eBay for like six quid. See if it makes it like just that little bit easier. And just be mindful of the uh, screws as well. I don't want that. I'm going to try and take some out of kind of each side. Third one. Right, do the demo all out. It should theoretically just unclip. And that's all we need to do just to get some access space around my back so I can install the interior lighting so let's go ahead now and we shall install the interior lighting Alright guys, the next thing we want to do is we want to get our lighting kit and then we need to just get that out and kind of plan where 
everything's going to go. And go ahead to install. As you seen previously, I have just dropped the glove box down just to give some access space into the back. Because what I want to do is um, just just fit it just round the back of the glove box. It's nice and out of the way and hidden. Um, we'll look at the driver's side, putting it somewhere under there as well. For the install, what I'm going to be using is um, some cutters. These are just cutters I got um, to use for vaping for coil building, but they're really sharp for cutting wires and things. And some cable ties, uh, hence why we need the cutters. Also got some insulation tape as well, just to kind of tape any wires or anything like that. And here is the wiring kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the USB cigarette lighter port and I'm just going to pop it to one side because I don't need that at the minute. And then I'm just going to unravel these wires and kind of um, see where we're at with the wires. Let's put that to one side. So as you can see, we've got the control box. So I want to kind of hide that somewhere up in the, the, the dashboard somewhere. What I do is the four wires I'm going to work out which one is best where to be fair I think they're kind of or maybe not but they're all the same no they're not all the same length so I want to take the two shortest sorry the two longest rather uh, just sort of this what's going on here okay so the two shortest will go beyond the dashboard and the two longest will go under the seat. So let me put those to one side. And then I'm going to have a look at this uh, control box. So I'm going to take the one on the right hand side, the shortest one. And I'm going to pass it through uh, the back of the firewall. And then I'm just going to pop that on the driver's side seat. So I know where that is. And then again, the other longer one here. I'm just going to pop that side of me on the passenger side seat. So now all I need to do is we just need to find a place up there where we can cable tight beyond the glove box, fit the glove box back in, and the same underneath the driver footwell i'm going to find a place to pop it under there and cable tie it and under the seats i'm just going to find a place on the bracket down there just to kind of do it down there